I'm Jake Mansell with HJ Sports, and today we're going to go through the sight-in process for your new Tetra, Tetra Max, or Tetra LT 4-pin. The 4-pin sight-in is going to be the exact same regardless of if you're shooting a Tetra LT, a Tetra Max, or a Tetra. The sight-in process for the 4-pin is going to be the same as if you were going to do it with a single pin when it comes to finding your yardage wheel. The first step to sighting in your Tetra 4-pin sight is to make sure that that top pin, your 20 yard pin, is in the northern half of that scope housing while also leaving your yardage wheel set at zero. That's a really important part to make sure that we get as much distance out of your sight as we can. We're gonna make those adjustments vertically by adjusting the pin itself. You can also make that adjustment by using the front end of the scope housing on the infinite adjust channel. Those are gonna be the two best ways to adjust your elevation for the 20 yard pin. We're gonna to wanna to keep the yardage wheel turned as close to zero as possible. This is gonna ensure that we can use the benefits of both a multi-pin and a single pin in our Tetra 4 pin. Once we set our 20 yard pin with the yardage wheel set at zero, I'm then gonna move back to 60 yards just as I would if I was sighting in a single pin. I'm not gonna worry about my bottom three pins yet, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna to try to find my yardage tape first. This is crucial to make sure that we get the correct sight tape. So as I move back to 60 yards, I'm gonna slowly rotate my wheel using the top pin. Now that I've made it back to 60 yards, I'm really gonna fine tune that top pin at 60 yards. I've now found at 60 yards that my setup tape is at 41 when using my top pin as my aimer. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take 41, which is where I'm at at 60 yards with the top pin, and I'm gonna subtract wherever I was at at 20 yards, which was zero. So I'm gonna take 41 minus zero to find sight tape number 41. Now that I've found that I'm at sight tape number 41, I'm actually gonna set that tape aside and I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna set the rest of my fixed pins. So for me, I like to obviously leave my top one at 20 and I'm gonna set the other three at 40, 50, and 60 just because my pin gap between my 20 and my 40 isn't as great. My 20 and 30 are actually pretty close. So I'm gonna go 20, 40, 50, 60. Now that I've went through and set my fixed pins, as well as found which sight tape I need, I have a decision to make. I can either use my top pin as my aimer, or I can use my bottom pin as my aimer. Myself, wanting some of the same benefits of a single pin, I'm gonna use the top pin as my aimer. So I'm gonna install my sight tape, sight tape number 41, at the top of the yardage wheel. If I wanted to use the bottom pin as my aimer, I would then take whatever the bottom pin is at, so for me that's 60 yards, I would take 60 yards on my sight tape and I would put 60 yards at the top of my yardage wheel at zero because when my, when my yardage wheel is fixed at zero, I have 20, 40, 50, and 60. So I would put sight tape number 41, 60 yards at the top of the yardage wheel. I'm gonna take sight tape number 41, peel it off, 41 is where I was hitting at 60 with my top pin. And I'm going to put it on at 60, peel it down, peel it over. And then I'm gonna loosen this. I'm gonna peel it all the way down. I'm now sighted in all the way up to 100 yards. Now if I wanna use my bottom pin as my aimer, I'll cut the tape off at 60 yards. Set that down and I'll put 60 right at the top since my fixed pins are 20, 30, 40, 50, or 20, 40, 50, and 60. And I'll dial it all the way down. And that'll allow me to float with my bottom pin from 60 to 100. So now we've went over how to install your sight tape, whether you want to use your bottom pin or your top pin as your aimer. Another important thing to note is that if you're using your top pin as your aimer, you're obviously going to be shooting from 20 yards out to as far as you'll get clearance. That could be out to 100 yards um, on your dial. And if you're going to use your bottom pin as your aimer, you'll be using your dial from 60 yards and out. For any more questions on our Tetra 4 pin or any other Tetra or HJ sites, please visit our website at hjsports.com.